Tune in to Overcomers TV on your favorite app or streaming platform. It's time to overcome. I first learned about Wings of Freedom through a, through a sober living community. I was, I was trying to get into a sober living house and I had an option between the Wings of Freedom program and the Oxford, the Oxford house, which is like a NAAA type deal. And I picked, I picked the, the Oxford house originally because I didn't, <clears throat> honestly, I thought this was a cult. Okay, I didn't, I, I, I was brought up in a church, but I didn't believe in the concept of, of a loving God, a father figure because of my childhood. So, so when, I, when I saw this program, I, I, I wasn't convinced it was for me. So I went another route, you know, and I, and I stayed clean a couple years, but I, but I wound up relapsing and the darkness, the darkness grew. I wound up in prison. Um, after that, I was released to the, to the environment that I came from and I started using again. And uh, I wound up on the street homeless. It's, it's a long story. But I wound up homeless on this street out this street. <clears throat> and uh, I was working for a man when I was able to work. I'm a really gifted carpenter. So, so finding work wasn't really a problem. But, but the man I went to work for happened to... He was married to a woman that worked for DOC and she knew about this program. So I got reintroduced to it in uh, 2017 and, and Dixie told me if I could stay clean, if I could, if I could pass a UA, I could come in. And uh, it took me a little while to, to get cleaned up, but I finally cleaned up and I came into the program. And uh, I've been here, well, <laughs> I would say I've been here ever since. My mom fell ill in 2018, and uh, I was here when she fell ill, and I was trying to take care of her, but, but she was uh, dying, and, and I wasn't strong enough to, to, or plugged in enough to deal with it, so I left the program and and went back out. Yeah. Wow. So talk about uh, your role in your involvement with the ministry now. My role with the ministry now. I'm I'm a I'm a CR leader. I'm a step study leader. I work for the church. I spend all my time at the church. I just I try to help people today. I try to help people today. So how do you describe the vision or the mission or the heartbeat of Wings of Freedom? The heartbeat of the Wings of Freedom is the people in the Wings of Freedom. We're like a family. That's what I think the heartbeat is, the people, the people here. I've never seen anything like this, man. I come from, from brokenness. So how is the Lord using this ministry to help share the gospel and talk about evangelism after? Well, he's using me to share the gospel. <laughs> um, man, I don't really know how to answer that. I mean, he... Yeah. So this place... Start, start this, with um, maybe some of the places people come from and how they come into the environment. This place, is un this place is unique, sir, because it's, it's more like a hospital. You know, we have, we have people from all walks of life, man, like I was homeless. I was a homeless drug addict, you know. <clears throat> we have we have not necessarily drug addicts, we have homeless people, we have people that fight different addictions, you know, we just we 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 have an open door policy to everyone. We welcome everyone. Praise God. Discipleship, what does that mean to make disciples around here? What's it mean to me? To or what does it mean? To be a disciple. How is the Lord making disciples, followers of Jesus, obedient to the faith? Through love, by, by spreading love. I, I didn't know what love was, man, when I got here. 
you know. Dixie, Dixie was the first man to really introduce love to me. You know, I, I <clears throat> both my parents were, were, were alcoholic drug addict and, and my mom worked two jobs and my dad beat and molested his children and and I grew up in that brokenness till I was about nine years old and then my mom divorced my dad and tried to get us in church. And and by that time I had a I had a I had a broken image of what a father was. So when so when the father concept was introduced when the when the concept of God being my father was introduced to me I didn't I didn't agree with it. I didn't see how I didn't see how a loving God could let something like that happen to me or my brothers. So so I rebelled against him. And I rebelled against the whole idea till about three years four years ago. I'm fifty years old. I started using when I was eleven. I started drinking when I was nine. I didn't stop till about four years ago. So I, I, as far as discipleship, man, he showed me love and that hooked me. It hooked me. He didn't just tell me about it. He, he showed it to me. He opened his hands to me. I didn't, I didn't deserve a place here. But, but he saw past, he saw past me. <laughs> Praise God. That's awesome. How can people get involved in support a ministry like Wings of Freedom? Time. Time, money, other resources. We take donations. We 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 love money. <clears throat> but talk about the warehouse. The warehouse. The warehouse is well, it's also like a reset program. But but we have a warehouse where we um basically bless people with things you know things to help them household items hygiene items furniture bedding beds every everything you need awesome very good um prayer support how important is prayer support around here it's spiritual warfare prayer support people praying for you <laughs> <clears throat> I know I'm supposed to look at the camera. That's kind of, I'm, I'm, I'm new. I'm like a baby Christian, you know. So, so prayer, prayer is vital. I don't spend enough time in it, but I talk to him all day long, you know. So I guess that's prayer, you know. I, I look at God like a friend today. I don't look at, look at him like, like he's trying to run me. You know, that's, that was my concept back then. But, but today, today I have a relationship with Him. And, and I understand that today, what it means. Very good. So why do you do what you do? What gets you up in the morning? Man, love. Love gets me up in the morning. Because I didn't know what it was till I got here. That's what draws me. That's what keeps me coming. Amen. Talk about Celebrate Recovery. Celebrate Recovery saved my life, man. Celebrate Recovery was, 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 hmm. It was my introduction to healing. I'm still healing. Talk about how the 12 steps are, there's a stigma, like you really got to be strung out of drugs, alcohol, like rock bottom, but everybody has hurts, habits, and hang-ups. Yeah. Now, everybody in church could grow. These principles work in all the areas of our lives. Talk about that. All that, you know, those 12 steps, 12 Bible verses. Yeah. 
anybody how they work in my life well just the church in general just a plug for the fact that you know it'd be good for anybody in the church to go through a step study the 12 the, the step study is where i found my where i found my healing you know i tried to go through this alone i tried doing this alone my whole life man you know and then i start then i got introduced to the bible and i got introduced to this whole concept of love okay so so <clears throat> the 12 steps came from the bible right like the beatitudes okay so it's like a design for my living it, sh it shows me how to live in accordance with His will for me. As far as catering, catering to the drug addict, caters to the, the, the porn addict, caters to the overeater. I mean, it doesn't matter your addiction because it doesn't, it doesn't, it's all inclusive. It doesn't distinguish one from another. It's about hurts. It's not about it's not about a chemical. It's about, it's about the hurt in the spirit. And I didn't understand that until I got here. I thought it was about drugs. You know, when I came here, man, I wasn't looking for God. I was trying to stop shooting dope. I was trying to stop drinking whiskey. That's what I came here for. I didn't come here to meet God. I didn't come here to love all people. But it happens. It happens. The drugs were the symptom. The porn is a symptom. The overeating is a symptom. Praise God. Final question. Is there anything else that God put on your heart to share with us today? Man, I want to leave you guys with some scripture. I want to leave you with chapter 4 of the book of Ephesians because it's a design for living. Right? He says, I therefore, the prisoner of the Lord, beseech you that you walk worthy of the vocation wherewith you are called, with all lowliness and meekness, with long suffering, forbearing one another in love, endeavoring to keep unity of the Spirit in the bond of peace. And there is one body and one Spirit, even as you are called, in one hope of your calling, one Lord, one faith, one baptism, one God and Father of all who is above all, through all, and in you all. But unto every one of us is given grace according to the measure of the gift of Christ. Wherefore He saith, when He ascended upon high, He led captivity captive, and He gave gifts unto men. <laughs> now that He ascended, what is it? But that He also descended first into the lower parts of the earth. He that descended is the same also that ascended up far above all heavens, that He might fill all things. And He gave some apostles, some prophets, some evangelists, and some pastors and teachers for the perfecting of the saints, for the work of the ministry, for the edifying of the body of Christ. And we're all the body. Till we all come in the unity of the faith and of the knowledge of the Son of God unto a perfect man, unto the measure of the stature of the fullness of Christ, that we henceforth be no more children, tossed to and fro, and carried about with every wind of doctrine by the slight of men and cunning craftiness, whereby they lie in wait to deceive. But speaking the truth in love may grow up into Him in all things, which is the head, even Christ, from whom the whole body fitly joined together and compacted by that which every joint supplieth, according to the effectual working in the measure of every part, making increase in the body unto the edifying of itself in love. This I say therefore and testify in the Lord that you henceforth walk not as other Gentiles walk. I did that in the vanity of their minds, having their understanding darkened, being alienated from the life of God through the ignorance that is in them because of the blindness of their heart, who being past feeling have given themselves over into lasciviousness to work all uncleanness with greediness. But you have not so learned Christ, if so be that you have heard Him and have been taught by Him as the truth is in Jesus, that you put off concerning the former conversation, the old man 
which is corrupt according to the deceitful lusts, and be renewed in the spirit of your mind, and that you put on the new man, which after God is created in righteousness and true holiness, wherefore putting away lying, speak every man truth with his neighbor, for we are members one of another. Be angry and sin not, let not the sun go down upon your wrath, neither give place to the devil. Let him that stole steal no more, but rather let him labor, working with his hands the thing which is good, that he may have to give to him that needeth. And let no corrupt communication proceed out of your mouth, but that which is good to the use of edifying, that it may minister grace unto the hearer. Grieve not the Holy Spirit of God, whereby you are sealed unto the day of redemption. Let all bitterness and wrath and anger and clamor and evil speaking be put away from you with all malice. And be ye kind one to another, tender-hearted, forgiving one another, even as God for Christ's sake has forgiven you. And that's, that's Ephesians 4. And, and I study this Word. I don't do that to, to inflate myself. I do that because I didn't live that way. My whole life, man, I was treacherous. I took and I took and I took and I took and I took. Okay, to the point of death. To the point of death, man. I can tell you stories. <laughs> I could tell you stories if we had time. I'd love to sit down and talk with you, man. God showed himself to me and my wife four years ago. He delivered us. He, we, didn't, we didn't suffer withdrawal. We didn't suffer de detox. We didn't go through any of that. We were shooting an eight ball of dope a day, drinking a half gallon of whiskey a day. Every day. And He delivered us out of it. Like that. Because we wanted it. Because we cried out to Him. And He heard us. He heard me from His throne. Way up there He heard this sinful wretch of a man. That's what drew me in. That He heard me. He heard me. And He said, Oh son, oh son, I hear you. And I've been chasing Him ever since, man. I've been chasing Him ever since. Trying to conform into His image. It's not easy, man. It's a fight. It's a fight every day. Crucifying your flesh. Walking away from the things that you used to revel in. Turning your back on it. It's a new way of life, man. I've, I've got to live... <laughs> not everybody gets to live two lives. Only we do. And you know what I'm talking about. Not many people get two lives here. They just live and they perish. I got to perish and then live. I get to live. So I'm, I'm, I'm just trying to serve Him today. That's all I'm trying to do is serve Him. That little thing on your paper says your, your title. That's my title, man. Servant. Servant. That's my title. I don't want any other title. I'm not here for anything but people. I adopted another man's vision because it's beautiful. It's more beautiful than anything I've ever experienced. And the more I stay, the more beautiful it gets. So I'm not going anywhere. <laughs> Celebrate what Jesus is doing throughout the nation and rise up to answer His call on your life. To serve the poor, heal the broken, free the captives, and bring joy to those in need. Find hope, encouragement, and motivation through Overcomers TV. This inspiring network features everyday people and ministries across America who are putting God's love in action. Tune in to Overcomers TV on your favorite app or streaming platform. It's time to overcome.